Monticello man and his five-year-old grandson died when the tractor they were on rolled over in a steep ditch. A 60-year-old man died this weekend when the tractor he was driving rolled into a ditch. A Cashton man was killed Thursday when a farm tractor overturned on top of him. We hear about him on a regular basis. Um, in our dealership, we have quite a few employees that are first responders. So probably within a five mile radius of our organization, if something happens, our people are the first ones on it. I think we hear about one about every 60 days, at least every two months there's one. Rollover protected structures, or ROPs, were not standard on tractors manufactured before 1985. More than half of farm tractors in Wisconsin do not have this life-saving equipment. ROPs retrofit kits are available for most older tractors, but few farmers have installed them. Dealers tell of scant demand. What we had done is we looked back through our history and our records, went back as far as we could about 20 years worth, and it's non-existent in our dealership that a customer added a ROPs after the fact of owning that tractor, or even after having an incident. Sometimes when we were going and people would inquire, the value of the roll bar was probably twice the value of the tractor they were putting it on. So that, that really made it hard to, even if they knew they should have it, it made it very hard for them to justify. All new tractors and new equipment has it installed factory and there's a reason for that because it's important and the cost of what that ROPS actually is over the cost of having the incident or the accident or even to go as extreme as a, as a death, it's uncalculable. Most farmers know that ROPS are effective in preventing injuries from tractor rollovers, but cost is a factor and ROPS are not always high on their list of immediate priorities. Rebates help. Thanks to generous contributions from our donors, we are making farmers and their families safer one ROPS at a time. We've built the rebate program to last. We talked to farmers, partnered with dealers, and promoted the rebates at farm shows. It's very gratifying to see a ROPS installed, knowing that that ROPS may someday save a life. I've tipped over a couple tractors, tipped over my skid steer. The neighbor tipped the tractor over right down the road here on top of him. Well, I thought it would be for safety for myself and for my grandkids if they're driving. Yes, I do feel safer. I mean, it's uh, something I know it's over my head in case, you know, it's, uh, I think it's a good idea. I've had a family member that was uh, killed on a rollover on a tractor. All my neighbors around here, there has been young people hurt and killed. We've, we've lost a lot of young people in our area here. These are my friends, you know, and if I can save one family from sorrow, uh, a death, you, you can never bring the child back. So anything that I can do to prevent such an accident, we're more than happy to. Well, I think of it often, uh, what happened to my neighbor Vic, uh, the situation he was in. I do have two rollover protection structures on order. Uh, as soon as they come in, they will be installed on two of my tractors on my farm. Uh, I want my operators and myself to be safe when I'm uh, running a tractor. And because of the, the rebate, the 70% rebate, I, I feel it's an opportunity that I cannot pass up at this time. And I'd like to thank the donors from last year's project. 40 tractors are equipped with the rollover protection in this area, making it much safer for operators. And I think it's truly amazing what the donors have done uh, supporting this program. Well, it'd be a good place to spend your money. If you could save one farmer's life, it would be worth quite a bit, wouldn't it?